Trojan Sports Now. Hello and welcome back to Trojan Sports Now. For this week's Trojan Profile, I have soccer player Chelsea Williams joined with me today. So Chelsea, thank you so much for joining me. Mm -hmm. um, so first off, just a little background information on you. Where are you from? I uh, was born and raised in Panama City, Florida, and I've lived there my whole life. So, I absolutely love it. <laughs> Not too far from here. Right? Yes. So, what brought you to Troy? Well, um, I came junior year um, on a campus visit because um, I went to a junior day camp and the coach uh, offered me a good scholarship. And um, so, there I looked in to the school and I absolutely loved the campus and it was close to home. And uh, I knew they had a, my major in biomedical science and um, it was a great academic program. So. Um, I started looking into it and decided to choose Troy. Oh, we're glad you came to Troy. Thank you. Um, speaking of soccer, how long have you been playing soccer? I started playing when I was four years old and um, started uh, select soccer, traveling and everything uh, when I was about 10. So, been a lot of years of soccer over the past. Sounds like it. Um, yeah. What sparked your interest in the sport? Like, what got you going? I don't know, I think I loved running and was very energetic when I was a little kid, so constantly up and down the field really uh, got me going, and I always loved scoring goals ever since I was little. Uh, just brought so much joy, and it was a lot of fun, so. And does that spark carry on to your days now on the team? Yeah, um, we've had a great season, and um, we've had great, Alyssa has, is a leading scorer right now um, for this year with 11 goals and I have eight. And then we've had like constant different players um, on the team just contributing. And I think that's why we've been so successful this year because we have tons of players contributing, not just one player. So they're not marking just one. So it's it's a great that we have so many talented players on the team. So. Absolutely, and you hit a little bit on this. Just what have you been your overall thoughts for this season so far? Um, I think we've done really well. Um, we've already broken so many team records and individual. And um, as a team, we're 14 and five going into conference, which is great. And uh, seated second, which is unbelievable. So I think Jason's pushed us really well. And uh, we're just working uh, hard as a team. We will be able to win the conference and uh, accomplish a lot. We sure so. hope y'all win the conference. Yes. Um, what do you expect for your team going into conference play? Because like you said, y'all are the number two seed. Mm -hmm. um, how are y'all preparing for that and what do you expect? This week we're really working hard, um, trying to give us a break too on our legs. But um, I think that we'll definitely no doubt win it if we come out and play. Um, South Alabama, we should have beat them, I believe. We had chances that just were unlucky. And so I think if we get those lucky breaks and um, get attack them early, then we'll definitely win it. So we just got to come out strong um, Wednesday and eat, take one game at a time. Absolutely. And I know you hit a little bit on this of um, talking about earlier this season breaking records. Can you talk a little bit about those records and how it felt when y'all broke those? Um, me, I, I was the all-time scorer. Um, this weekend, um, I broke that, and that felt great. But um, I know I couldn't be anywhere without my teammates. Um, just like we got the best defensive record, um, best shutout that we've ever had. Um, I think just it takes 11 players to defend, and just like scoring, it takes all. You know, you got to get the ball up from defenders, goalie, midfielders to forward. So I'm just lucky to play with such a talented group of players, and. Um, as Alyssa, I think everybody's broken a lot of records. Like her single shots and points record this season has been unbelievable. So I think um, just everybody working for each other has really shown a lot of success on the team in this season. So now going into this season, did you know or did you plan on breaking the leading all-time scoring record? Um, it was my goal. <laughs> I definitely wanted to push for it and mm -hmm. wanted the high hopes. So um, I just hope to keep going and don't settle there. You know, you can always set the high standard. So I just want to keep going and push myself and to make it challenging for others. And Alyssa's right behind me. So it's, I think it's competitive having someone on the team who's right there. Um, so. Now, did really it occur good. to you Friday night that you had broken the record or were you just completely like overwhelmed in the game and not focusing yeah, on Yeah, I didn't really think about it until the players, um, on the bench were cheering really loud and uh, then I realized it but I was just into the game and wanted wanted to get the win for conference and stuff so 
Absolutely, but. and y'all got those wins, and now you're number two seed in the conference. Mm -hmm. um, and I know winning in the conference has not been a thing for this program so far, winning yeah. in that conference tournament. Can you talk a little bit about going into that first game and what you're, you know, how you expect to win that game and break that? I think um, we've never gotten past the first round, so I think just focusing on one game at a time and um, just coming out and playing like will will get us um, a good, a really good um, leading a chance into the conference championship. I think once we advance and believe in ourselves, then we we know we're the better team. So um, we just got to show them and prove it because it's there. So. Now this year, you know, you're breaking records, but last year you had to sit out due to a transfer. How hard was it sitting out last season? It was really hard uh, just because I love the game and everything. So it was definitely hard watching, but I knew that just supporting my teammates, you know, everybody, that's what you're there for. So um, I love this team and we all get along great. So it's good that we're, we're all like one family. So coming together and coming back was just great. And I knew, I felt like that's where I belong in. So, um, just being back was hard, or like sitting out was hard, but I knew that my time would come and, you know, I'd have another chance, so Absolutely. this is our time. Yeah, it is. And before you were here and now you all have lights, can you talk a little bit about how it has been to play under those lights? Well, the fans this year have been incredible. We've um, had the most fans ever this year, and so that's been amazing. I think that's been our success undefeated um, at home has been really a big contribution to the fans and everything. And so um, they've been great and so supportive. And uh, playing under the lights has been amazing, definitely. I think we're definitely more momentum and more um, pumped up before games when playing under them. And uh, the games aren't in the middle of the day where it's hot, so we definitely play a lot better. So it's always exciting having that for next year too <laughs> and the years to come. Absolutely. And then as a student athlete, it's hard to balance, I'm sure, school and sports. How do you balance that and how tough is it? Well, it's hard with my, with, uh, my major as long as a lot of the others, but um, we get study hall hours um, on the away trips and uh, Jason's really on top of us about it. Like, make sure you're getting your study hall hours during the week and making sure where our grades are uh, getting, staying up where they need to be because that's why we're, that's more important. But um, it, we, I just study um, in my free time when I'm not um, off playing soccer, so it's good. But <laughs> I'm sure it's hard to balance. Yeah. Um, but before we go, we want to ask you some fun questions to get to know you a little better. Okay. So what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie would have to be Remember the Titans. And why is that? Um, I've seen it 50 million times, but I just love um, the motivation in the movie and the football. Um, enthusiasm and everything so That's I've just grown up yeah. Um, so what's your favorite music? Favorite music? Uh, it's a hard one. <laughs> Maybe country I don't, or Jack Johnson I don't know something like classic more chill but before games I like more pump up music. That like, was gonna be my next question. Is yeah. Do you listen to that chill before the game? Yeah we all get pretty excited in the, in the locker room before so mm -hmm. I like that to pump me up but <laughs> Um, what's your favorite food? Favorite food? Oh, it'd have to be uh, probably ch chicken parmesan. Mm. Love that. Mm -hmm. and go to Olive Garden. It's really good. That is good. Um, the last book you read? Last book. Um, if I Stay. I actually read that on an away trip. Okay. And uh, that was really good. The movie's coming out, so I thought I'd read it. So Same that was really entertaining. Yes. <laughs> Very. <laughs> And then what do you do in your spare time, or do you even have spare time? Spare time, uh, I like going to the movies, um, going to the beach when I'm home, and just hanging out with friends. So okay. it's really exciting. Sounds like it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me You're today. Welcome. I wish you all the best of luck next week in the Thank tournament. you. And stick around as we bring you more from Troy Athletics.